Hey everyone, so yesterday I showed you how you can export a, a picture, which you can do by right-clicking an image and selecting export to save the, save the image. Um, and today I wanted to show you a few other things that you can also export in Storyline, and I'm sure I'm going to forget some, um, so please in the comments let me know if there are others that I've missed, but here are just a few. So in addition to exporting pictures, you can also export audio. So you can do that by selecting the audio file in the timeline and choosing export audio. In addition, if there are closed captions to that audio file, you can choose the audio tools option and export the closed caption. Same with video, if there's a closed caption associated. In this slide, we have a video. If you click on the video, I believe you have to click the video. Yeah, you can't you can't export from right clicking on the timeline, which is strange. But if you right click on one of the handles of the video, you can choose to export the video. Now, in a previous video, we talked about translations. If you go up to file translation, you get two options to export to Word and export to XLIF. Now these are these are what you would like to export if you want to export your entire project to be translated by either a translation company or if, if you are doing the translation. Export to Word is, in my opinion, easier to, it, it's a better format. Um, export to XLIF, it just comes out looking like a bunch of garbled nonsense. Uh, but if you're going to be doing the um, translation, export to Word, I think would be the preference. Um, other things that you can export. So if you go into your player, you can also, if you click on the carrot of current player, you can export your current player. Now these are all the things that I can currently think of uh, before I've finished my full cup of coffee <laughs> of what you can export in Storyline. So if you, if you have any others, please let me know, but uh, hopefully this helps you out.